Hey, what's up, soldiers? My name is Greg FPS, the Zombies Extraordinaire, and welcome back to another Call of Duty Black Ops 3 Zombies Chronicles tutorial. What I got for you guys in this video is going to be the entire Moon Easter Egg tutorial. So I really hope you guys do enjoy the video. I spent a lot of time on this, and it did take a while to actually record this for you guys. So I'm sorry for how late it is, but I really hope that you guys can utilize this tutorial and help you complete the Easter egg. Now, I wanna get talk about a couple things really quick. If you wanna learn how to get over 30,000 points on round one, then there will be a video link down below. Also a video on all the locations for the hacker device, which you're gonna need for the Easter egg. And also another video with all the locations for the wire that you're gonna need. And also another video that is going to have all the uses for the hacker. All those videos will be down in the description. You're probably gonna need to use them throughout the video. So you might as well open them up and all that awesome stuff. Also, please drop a like on the video guys and subscribe if you're new. And if you do end up subscribing, let me know down in the comment section so I can thank you. So without further ado, let's get right into the tutorial, guys. So the first thing that you need to do is you need to turn on the power. Now, as you can see there, we went through tunnel six because it's probably the tunnel that is the most important when it comes to this Easter egg. It, it really is the most important one. Now, once you turn on power, you're gonna backtrack and go to these computers right outside of tunnel six. Now, what you're gonna be doing is playing a little Simon Says game. So the computers from left to right are red, blue, green, yellow. Now you're gonna input the code and each time it's going to get one color longer until the final sequence of colors, which is going to be six colors in a row. Now it's really not that difficult. Later on in the Easter egg, you're gonna have to play Simon Says three times and then it gets really hard, but these you can do off your memory. It's really not that hard at all. Once you know what the colors are, it can be really, really easy. And as you can see here, I'm gonna enter all six of the different color combination. And by the way, this is randomized every single game. So as you can see, I'm gonna enter it and it, they're gonna flash green and that means that you've completed it. Now next, you're gonna need to find a hacker device. And once again, the video is linked in the description if you don't know where to find it. And you have to hack this panel on the second floor of the labs. Now this is gonna cost 500 points. And when you do this, there is going to be green lights that light up a control panel on all four levels of the lab. Now what you need to do is go to these panels with the green light above it and hack each of them. There's gonna be four total. So it's really not that hard to do. The top one is on the top floor. Then you can go down to the second level and there's gonna be two on this level, I believe. So the first one's right here. And if you're doing this co-op, I recommend holding a zombie because it can be very, very difficult. And once again, you can do this Easter egg solo. You don't have to do it co-op, but I would recommend playing co-op. It just makes it a lot easier. So this is the third one right here. And the fourth one is going to be on the first floor of the labs. And once again, if you need to find a video on where the hacker is located that is linked down in the description so once you do this guys then you are well on your way to being successful every time you play moon now you need to press all four of those buttons on the second floor once you're done and that is pretty much it for that step now what you need to do next is you need to teleport now i did this in a different order than most people do it. This is the easiest way in my opinion. So you need to throw a grenade over in that general area and it's gonna drop some plates. Now someone on your team needs a Gersh device and they need to throw it over there. And what that Gersh device is gonna do is collect plates and place them on the teleporter. So as you can see guys, we are going to teleport right away pretty much right after the cage leaves. And there are plates that are literally sitting on the teleporter that we're gonna need for the Easter egg. And we're doing this on round one. So the earlier you do it, the better. Now the plates are gonna be sitting right there next to Quick Revive and you need someone with a QED. In my place, I had the QED for this game so I threw the QED and what it did was it teleported the plates and it also had a bad thing because the, it has good and bad effects in this case it was a bad effect so it had a gun and it shot me down which was really dumb but anyways that teleported the plates over to the computer which is located over here now this is where you're gonna place the um, the 
golden rod but unfortunately we didn't have it yet you need to find a wire and if you don't know where to find the wire there is a video with all of the wire locations in the description as well so you place the wire here then rick Toffin, the character that's playing rick Toffin, places the golden rod there and then for about three to four minutes you the person that plays rick Toffin has to keep pressing square on that computer then eventually it's going to glow like this so once you do this guys you are in really really good shape as you can see we did this on round one and it was absolutely awesome so the next thing you need to keep in mind is you're gonna eventually hear a announcer say digging different tunnels you wanted to dig tunnel six it took us to round 18 to get to build tunnel six after we did that step so it does take a really long time now what you need to do is let it dig and then once it's digging then you can use the hacker on the control panel thus making the hacker raise up and then you are in pretty good shape for the next step of the easter egg so what you need to do is go in tunnel six and right where it was digging there is actually going to be a ball that is like the egg for the mpd so you, what you need to do is knife it you can also shoot it with a regular gun and basically follow this egg because it is going to bounce all over the place in tunnel six and then in ten, tunnel 11 so you just kind of got to follow where it goes because sometimes it can be a little dark and it you kind of can lose track of where the actual ball is located but as you can see here i tried my best to follow it to the best of my ability for you guys so you know exactly where it goes it bounces in the same pattern every single game so for example it's like stuck up there and what that's going to do is stop right at the door now you go through the door and then you go through the other door and it's going to bounce up and fly onto the satellite now at this time you need a wave gun and you need to shoot the wave gun at the end of the satellite antenna what that's going to do is drop the egg over in front of tunnel 11 as you're going to see here guys so i'm putting on the mask again and the ball is right there so once again you need to follow this ball or moon egg all the way through tunnel 11 which can be kind of a pain i think the tunnel 11 one is a little more tricky because the ball gets stuck in a couple really hard spots to see and as you can see here i'm going to show you guys exactly what i'm talking about like this one up here is really tricky to see it's really dark so you just got to shoot it with a gun but if you've done this a lot and you the more you do the easter egg the more you get used to exactly where it's going to be so it really is not that difficult now once again guys this is just going all the way uh through tunnel 11 and you just got to keep shooting it basically and follow it in and then eventually at the end it's going to bounce and make its way all the way into the mpd device now once again guys this was on round 18 so it can take a while to dig in tunnel uh six which is a pain in the butt so then a cylinder is going to rise and what you need to do is get 25 soul kills and basically kill zombies right next to it it's going to fill with 25 souls and once this is completed you'll hear an activation noise now there is a switch on the left hand side now what you need to do is flip that switch and what that's going to do is allow you to get the achievement cryogenic slumber party and samantha is actually going to come out of the mpd which is really cool you can literally see samantha rising and this is really awesome uh definitely one of the coolest things so at this point since we already did the charging of the golden rod before there are going to be four cylinders around the mpd now they need to get 25 kills in each so you need a hundred kills total we were on round 19 we were able to complete it on round 20 because we had so many zombies spawning so once you complete it and fill it all the person who plays rick Toffin in the game is actually going to place the golden rod inside of the mpd and a person needs to throw a qed to teleport that ball all the way back to those computers that we played simon says on first so once again you have to put the golden rod in first and then throw a qed so this is going to cause Rick Toffin to switch bodies with Samantha and Rick Toffin is going to be control of the zombie. So now you need to do the harder Simon says this one is much more difficult and you have to play it three times. And once you complete it all three times, then you're you need to do like an eight 
color combination at the end which is really difficult but as you can see there we completed it and that means that we are ready to launch the rockets but there's one more step and that is to throw a gersh device at the ball that is located on the ground right next to the computers that we teleported with the qed so as you can see my friend's going to throw a gersh device and this is going to cause the rockets to launch off so it's that's the entire research guys that's all the steps i'm going to allow you to listen to this cinematic because it's honestly one of the coolest things that you can do in zombies and you guys should just experience it for yourself that's right guys apparently three rockets can blow up earth but once you get to earth you can or area 51 you can look and see the actual uh atom bomb like fallout for nuketown which is really cool over there and that is the entire easter egg guys if you have any questions hit me up on twitter at greg fps and i will be able to respond to you guys very quickly of what you need to do if you're confused on a step or you don't really know what to do just tweet me and if i'm awake i will respond to you as quickly as i possibly can with the answer and solution to whatever your problem is and also thank you so much for watching guys thank you for the recent support on my videos here on my channel and let me know which easter egg tutorial you guys want to see next we still have shangri-la ascension and origins now i can make those for all of them but uh let me know what you guys want to see next down in the comment section thank you so much for watching and i really do appreciate you guys you know coming to my channel as a source for zombies videos and tutorials because i work really hard on these videos i play the maps a ton like this was my fifth time completing the moon easter egg for this video or maybe the fourth i don't even remember i've done it so many times now at this point when i'm making this so a uh, big thank you to my friends the only flame and daniel uh their links will be down in the description if i can find them and uh, i just want to say once again guys like a huge thank you for you know the support on my channel and all that stuff so make sure you drop a like and if you guys do end up subscribing let me know down in the comment section so i can thank you as well as always guys have a great day my name is greg fps the zombies extraordinaire and i'll see you guys in the next video peace out